In this video, I'm gonna show you a Shopify dropshipping store that has made half a million dollars and over $100,000 profit in just four months dropshipping one single product. I'm also gonna show you exactly what that product is and where you can source it. And I'm also gonna show you the Facebook ads that generated those numbers. So every single week, I like to do a review on my YouTube channel of stores like this, because this is something that I do every single week myself. If you ask me when it comes to product research or just learning what's working right now, there's no better people to learn from than those that are doing it successfully. So if you haven't already, then I 100% recommend signing up for flipper.com. It's 100% free. I'm not affiliated. I don't have a link for you. It's genuinely something I've signed up to myself to get notifications of when stores like this come up for sale. So what you can do is set parameters for the different types of stores that you're looking for, whether it's Amazon FBA or Shopify dropshipping. And every time a store gets listed on the platform that meets those search criteria. So for example, if I show you this email that I received today, this is two new results with Shopify stores that have at least 10,000 monthly visitors. For example, the first one is called Love Necklace. It's generated over 900,000 US dollars with a net profit per month of in and around $13,000. The monetization, as we can see, is via dropshipping too. So these are great businesses to be learning from to see what products are selling and what's working right now. And like I said, this is something I do every single week on my channel. So if you wanna tune in and follow along each week, make sure you hit that subscribe button now. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, please do me the favor of dropping a like so we can reach more people and show these businesses and help more people. So the Shopify store I want to show you today is called Twedy.co. It is a verified listing, meaning all the numbers you're about to see are verified by Flipper themselves and all 100% legit. So the site age is just six months with an average monthly profit of 27,000 US dollars. What's actually really interesting about the Shopify store as well is their primary focus is on a UK market. So for all of those people that say you can't make dropshipping work in the UK, this store is a great example of how you can. I talk about it on my channel all the time. When it comes comes to drop shipping it is super competitive but it's super competitive in the United States. When it comes to places like Australia, UK, Canada, and some European countries that have English as a second language, the amount of competition is minuscule in comparison to the US. So by far, at least in my opinion, the best strategy to use is to take a product that is tried and tested and verified to be working in the US, but sell it to a different country. Use the benefits of the dropshipping business model and sell to different countries in the world. Even though you're based in the US or based in the UK, you don't have to sell to those countries. You can be based anywhere in the world. And as long as you have access to an internet connection, then in six months with the right product and the right strategy, you too can build a business that gets these sorts of results. Let's take a look at the profit and revenue over the course of the past six months. We can see from July, 2022, um, the revenue was $41. So it just confirms it's a brand new store and they were able to scale this up super quickly, which is one of my favorite things about dropshipping. The hardest thing though, is finding that product. It's all about the products when it comes to drop shipping but when you do find that one product that works it's like striking gold because then you can scale it up super quickly and we can see from july to October, they managed to exceed over $200,000 in one single month. To give us some more information about the sweet spot when it comes to drop shipping. So this is all Shopify verified. So over the course from August to Jan, they've had over 21,000 customers, over half a million in sales and nearly 15,000 orders. The average order value is $35. So that in itself will tell you kind of like where the sweet spot is for that impulse buy product. So when you are doing your product research, look for those products that are in and around this price range. Let's now take a look at their Shopify store then to see what a proven six-figure store looks like. So it's 20.co if you guys wanna head over, that's the URL you need to put in if you wanna check it out themselves, yourselves. They only sell one particular product and if you haven't seen it or guessed it already, it's this earwax cleaner. So it's basically a machine, kind of like a toothbrush, but on the end of it is like a plastic pick with a torch shining down the end of it and it links to an app or some sort of tablet. So when you've got it in your ear, you can see exactly what's in your ear and remove any dirt or earwax. As we scroll down and scroll through, we can see that they've taken the extent of separating themselves from the competition. I'm gonna do a video next week of the top three things you can do to do this, because in my opinion, if you wanna be successful in dropshipping, you have to do things differently and better and improve on what everyone else is doing. If you simply import the same imagery, the same wording as everybody else, you're just gonna blend in with all of the other dropshipping stores. However, if you take it one step further, like these guys have, they've created these custom icons. It probably took them five 
five minutes to create something like this on Canva, but it just separates them from any competition. It's gonna be only in super rare cases that when you advertise your product on a platform, that that's the first time they've ever seen your product. The chances are they've seen a competitor selling it. So unless that customer, that consumer can distinguish your store from the next one and yours looks more professional and you take those extra steps, which I'll be talking about, then you're just gonna blend in and ultimately it's gonna to lead to that person leaving the store without making a purchase. So as we scroll down, we can see again more original imagery with these kind of different design touches. It's not just block imagery, imported stock images from AliExpress suppliers. Let's take a look at the product page itself then. It's not a typical layout. Again, it's completely different to the default product page template that Shopify offers. Again, separating these guys from any competition selling this exact product. My favorite thing that these guys do though is the custom packaging. We can see here with the main product image, they have this box that the product comes in with the Tweddy logo on. It makes them look super professional. It makes them look like the original designers and manufacturers of the product, even though they're probably just sourcing it from a Chinese agent. What's also really interesting is they don't have a clear or the typical kind of product page layout with the name of the product, followed by the price of it, followed by an A to C. They have a question to engage the customer and go straight into the benefits which are bullet pointed. So once somebody has watched the ad and essentially made their mind up about whether they want to buy the product they don't need to scroll through the entire product page all of the information they need is right here to confirm whether they want to go ahead and buy it or not what i also like is there's an incentive there's an extra incentive for somebody to choose these guys over somebody else so not only have they got custom packaging which makes them look like the original sellers and more professional not only have they got original imagery across the website but then they also have this free ebook so ancient secrets for living healthy to 100 years old with every purchase worth 20 pounds a super easy gift and a super easy process to add to any order that's fully automated. As we'd move down again, more original imagery. This is probably stock images actually taken from other websites, but the fact that it's not taken from a Chinese supplier helps again, separate these guys from any competition. If you 100% wanted to buy this product and you saw this store versus a typical drop shipping store that was basic, bland and imported images from AliExpress, probably 99 out of 100 people are gonna choose this one because it looks more professional. As we move down, they have have again some nice kind of like gifts and things like that just demonstrating the pain points that people have and then the solution that their product offers they also have lots and lots of different um, what am I looking for? Social proofs so of 23,750 reviews. They have this kind of like, this is what our product does, or this is what typical cotton buds or ear candles, I've never heard of ear candles before, but it clearly kind of presents their product as the superior one. Moving down, the information they put out or the information they have on their page is nothing out of the ordinary. This is information that any dropshipper would put on their page, but the fact they have real people in videos talking about the product, again, it just makes the customer feel safer and more trusting in this business, in this brand. So we've seen the Shopify store that is successful. We've seen that we can buy this product for one for £29. If we jump onto AliExpress, you can do your own research into this. Contact your supplier that you're using at the moment. This was one of the first guys I found. It's called Hale Lee Care Direct Store. They've been in business for a couple of years, so somewhat established. And as you can see, you can buy this product for £6.83 plus £3.44. So you're talking sort of £10 cost and they're selling it for £30, leaving about £20 room in there. Big difference though between this supplier and the supplier that these guys will be using is obviously that custom packaging which you can't get from AliExpress to my knowledge. CJ do if you have an established relationship with our agents out there. Given the volume that these guys are doing, I'd probably guess that they're paying in and around sort of eight, nine pound, and that would be with the custom packaging too, because it's not expensive to have packaging printed. So we've seen what a winning Shopify store looks like. We've seen what a winning products looks like. Now we need to know what winning ad creatives look like so we can see exactly how they've generated these results. So one brilliant thing about Facebook and TikTok is they have an ads library and you can see see exactly what ads a particular page is running. So that's exactly what I've done. I found 20 must haves, and these are the current ad creatives which they've used to generate those results. Just scrolling through them, we can see there's kind of like a constant theme here. It's real people, it's user generated content, but just to confirm this, let's um, open one of these up and go full screen and see what it looks like. So we can see time and time again, real people talking about the product, showing how to use the product. It's not just cheesy music over random clips. People want to know that they can trust you as a business that's just popped up on their newsfeed. And unless you have real people in your ads, then they're not gonna trust you. I've spoken about it in videos time and time again, the biggest obstacle you'll have to overcome 
as a new business on Facebook because people, shoppers are becoming more and more wary of scammers and things not arriving or taking weeks and weeks to arrive and people aren't putting up with it anymore. They're becoming more savvy. So there's different things that you need to do in order to overcome those obstacles and barriers that people put up in their minds in order to get them to trust you enough to buy from you. If we have a look at this creative, essentially it's very similar, similar clips showing and featuring the actual product and what it can do. Um, again, there's lots of people in there talking about it. It has that kind of gross factor to it showing exactly the sort of stuff that's come out of people's ears that's really going to kind of hook people in. There's a really famous Facebook ad of a back cracker and the first three seconds of it is somebody lying on it. It's like an artificial cracking noise, um, but it was super, super effective, went super, super viral, talking tens of millions of views because it just has that kind of wow factor that's going to suck people in and make them want to watch the actual creative. And that's half the battle when running ads on a platform. And so we've seen what a proven and successful Shopify store design looks like. We've seen what a proven and successful six-figure product looks like. We've seen what a proven and successful Facebook ads creative look like. So I'm going to wrap the video up. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I've given you some ideas and inspiration. Whilst it is a great strategy to always be looking at businesses that are doing well and selling things successfully, I don't condone copying these businesses if you are going to take inspiration from them make sure you do it in your own unique and original way one last thing before you go if you are looking for some help to get started to get your dropshipping business off the ground i have a 100 free training it's the top link in the description down below it's one to two hours long because there is a lot of information in there but it will essentially show you how to go from scratch and in 21 days have a fully fledged up and running business that's making money even if you don't enjoy the training everybody who watches it gets a free copy 100 free won't cost you any money um, it's my PDF list of 194 profitable product ideas, just like the one you've seen in this video. So make sure you check that out. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.